as the movie. Oh, Dune. Yeah. You can play Dune or Doom. Well, you, you really got to play Doom. That would be a good game for you to play uh, on Twitch, I think. Do the new Doom is coming. Like the old. So all right. So there's Doom is one of the original first person shooters, but they remade it in 2016. I want to say with you know next gen graphics and everything, and it's a really fast paced. Like you never stop moving, and you just annihilate, annihilate, annihilate all these monsters, and there's blood and gore, and you've got like. 15 different kinds of weapons and you keep upgrading them to make them even more hardcore and you've got a chainsaw and and shotguns and rocket launchers and all sorts of cool laser guns and shit and you just dominate and dominate and dominate and they're fine they're making a sequel and it was supposed to come out like right now but i think they pushed it back because they wanted to have it perfected so sometime early next year i think maybe summer maybe spring but i'm really excited for the next doom game they've cool. added a lot of shit it's it's a first person shooter that you know, it's a single player game and you, it's just about it's a run and gun, just destroy everything kind of video game. Yeah, that we, would be really good to learn WASD. That's what I was waiting to insert. Yeah, I think that your first uh, you're obviously learning WASD now. I think it, did you play South Park and such with a keyboard and mouse or a controller? Yeah, but that's that's real easy. And then since then, I've been playing Magic and Hearthstone and that's point oh. and click card games. OK, yeah. Well, even just navigating step one, step two, I think play AI. Um yeah. The worst games to learn on, according to me, are the ones where you don't get a lot of engagements. You know, like, I, I don't know Tarkov, but I'm guessing that you just don't get to slay 100. I bet, what do you get, like six kills a night? Does that seem right-ish? Um, well, you're, <clears throat> because you fight scavs a lot, like, I probably get 10 kills a game, something like that. How long's a game? It varies. You know, half an hour, though. You know, okay. probably. Something like that. It's not COD. It's not, like like, constant action or anything like that, but... It's not, you're right in what you're saying. Like, yeah, like, you, it's not a game to like craft your skill and learn how to do it. Like that's pub, maybe even PUBG is a little bit too slow for that. Unless you're hot dropping, always drop, jumping into that zone where like 20 people in PUBG land in one building every mm -hmm. single match. If you go to that building, then you get like crazy gunfights. But COD is that rinse and repeat shit where you could really craft your skills. The penalty for dying super low. Three seconds super later, low. you're playing again. And, and Doom is like, that on steroids because yes. like and it's ai it's ai and you can set that difficulty level down low and like it it, it does all the things that you need to learn as a as a keyboard and mouse gamer you know you're, you're switching from this weapon to that weapon you're activating power-ups you're you're jumping you're climbing you're mantling you're you're doing mm -hmm. power moves it's it, it's prompting you sometimes so like when you get an enemy down to like a low enough health level he'll sort of blink like blue and you know now you can literally rip his jaw off and like shove it up his ass or something like that. It's uh, That's I, cool. I, I, you do stuff like that. You don't literally shove it up his ass, but you do things like oh, then I'm not interested. One of them <laughs> has these glowing yellow like testicle like growths on them, and you like rip <laughs> those off and shove them down his throat, and then he explodes into gore. It's it's crazy stuff like that. I finished the COD single player campaign, and I think I gave it so so marks. Uh, the last time, I was a little frustrated by some of the slowness. By the time I finished it, I loved it. Like, I, I really enjoyed the COD single-player campaign. I thought it was great. And two things changed. One, uh, I wasn't streaming anymore, so just gave it more attention, listened to the cutscenes and stuff like that, whereas normally I'd divert from the game and listen to the stream if, mm -hmm. if it doesn't require my attention. And uh, two, I think maybe the second half of the game was just more of what I enjoyed. And Yeah, I got sucked into it, and then... I guess I, I can spoil it. At the very end, he assembles a team. And uh, uh, they don't... Basically, the team is called the 141, which we're all familiar with, right? From the previous CODs. And the, you've been playing a guy and you don't realize that you're, I think, Soap this whole time. And another guy... Uh, I forget. And then there's one guy with no picture. And they're like, yes, you never see him. I'm like... Oh my fucking god! Ghost is coming back. I'm, I swear to God, we're gonna get Ghost in the next Modern Warfare. I'm certain of it, and uh, I'm just I'm tingling right now. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that campaign. I, I yeah, it was a prequel. It. Yeah, we you didn't you don't really find out to the end that it's a prequel to Call of Duty Four, and uh, and I thought that was kind of cool. It didn't. I wasn't just like ah dun dun dun. I was like nifty, you know. Uh, I, by that time, often by the end. I guess it, it was a good campaign, but it, like at the end of the Halo campaign, I'm like, so there's no more? We beat them all? And it's like that scene in Major Pain when he's like, 
but they must be somebody needs killing. And he's like, no, Major, you've killed them all. <laughs> but in COD, I'm like, it's over, right? We're done here. Like, we killed them all, right? And I'm I'm kind of glad it's over by the end. It, it can it can get a little tedious. 